I'm marking stuff off. Got some flags, stakes, mason line, laser level. So today I'm gonna, so we're gonna do retaining walls because this is too steep to mow. And then I've got grading issues beside the building. I need to get that, that's built up higher than the building. So I want it to all flow away from the building. So we'll do a little retaining wall on that side because the driveway is actually gonna be higher than that. Cause I want all the water draining away from the building. Cause right now the water comes off this hill, goes down the driveway. There's a big gully up here you can see. And then it's, it just basically runs into the front of the building. <laughs> so the under part of that part of the building stays wet because it just fills up with water. So you can kind of also see there, the driveway basically slants into the building. So I'm gonna level a driveway off. So there'll be a little retaining wall here, a big retaining wall here that's up as tall as that. And then the driveway will be level. So all this is gonna get leveled out. It'll probably be the same as up there because I want the water to come off the hill, hit the driveway, and come down the driveway without going into the building. And then you can kind of see what we're dealing with there. I mean, that's a probably about a one foot drop into the building, and it's got to be a basically a one foot drop away from the building. So that'll be behind a retaining wall that's gonna run this way, kind of up to that rock. So I'm gonna mark all this out today. And today I'm gonna start getting the driveway leveled out with my box blade, but it'll give me good practice on the box blade. And then the retaining wall is probably gonna go up to somewhere around that stake that I have in the ground, but that's what I wanna draw out today and flag, because even this hill is a little too steep to be driving the tractor on. So, you know, wherever it starts getting too steep to mow is where the retaining wall is gonna dig in. So the driveway will probably actually come this way. It'll be wider this direction which will give me more room down at that end to swing around and, you know, get things backed into there. Like we back our RV into that. So I need to be able to swing out and get backed in there, which I can today. And then all this gets dug out for a patio. We're gonna put a porch on the front and a patio. There's a septic tank somewhere right in there. I've got to find that, it's buried. I've got to find it without hitting it and tearing it up. And then the septic runs down the hill by that power line. So today is not a very hard day. It's, it's a nice, beautiful Tennessee day. And I'm just gonna be marking stuff, measuring, marking stuff off with flags. Uh, I'm gonna get on the tractor and I've got a level for the tractor and I'm gonna just drive around and figure out what's level and not level and where I want my wall to start based on how tilted the tractor is. So for the tractor, I got this Levo gauge and it basically just, you put it on the tractor and then as the tractor tilts, you're able to see kind of what degrees. And I really don't want, you know, I don't want to be driving the tractor over a 20 degree tilt, really. I'm sure we've done worse than that, but I think 20 is probably, I don't know, even when I'm on it, 20 may be feeling kind of wonky. So I don't quite know what I want it to set at, but I know what I've mowed already and what I felt comfortable mowing. And then I know what Emily's, Emily does most of the mowing, so I know what she's probably, I know when she bugs out. So I'm trying to get, you know, like that area, we'll put a retaining wall in so that it's basically just level up at the top. So I'm gonna install this on the tractor now, and then I'm gonna go drive around a little while. That seems easy. And that'll be a good spot for it. Kind of out of the way, not really gonna get hit, and a pretty vertical. All right, that's my wall following the red that keeps the grade correct. So you can see it gets pretty steep on this little grade here. So I've either got to, like that's where the top edge of the wall needs to be. And we're thinking about doing, um, hello? We're thinking about doing gabion walls. So they may be pretty wide. They may come out to, you know, three feet they're just like metal baskets that you fill up with big rocks. So you could either dig straight down here, dig all this dirt out, move it, which I need dirt down there. So I may do that. Or you could dig in here and then level, use the dirt to fill in behind the wall, which I may do as well. Hadn't decided yet, but that's the contour it's got to go on to keep this top side level. And then up there, I need to do a little grading just to get that 
not as steep right there. There's a little pitch where it does this. So I need to level that off a little bit. And then around the back of the hills, another, I haven't gotten there yet. But then I did the same thing here. Like you can see the driveway's draining through here and I'm already starting to fill this in. And I'm gonna keep doing that probably with the dirt I pull out of here. So again, this is gonna be the retaining wall. This will be the inside edge, so it's eight feet off. I'll probably move it out further. But anyway, let's say an eight foot wide, eight foot out, and then the wall starts running here, maybe a few feet wide. And it's gonna be dug down, so that's the edge. So this, I don't know how far I'm above that, but I'm about, I don't know, I'm several feet above where I need to be. So I've got to get that to grade down, and then the whole thing's got to grade out where it runs down that hill. But you can see the, the dirt over here is, I mean, it's mounded up. And then there's the foundation. And I need to be, on this side, I need to be at the foundation and then sloping away so the water stays away from the, so that's why I'm gonna put a retaining wall in. And then hopefully any water that's coming off this hill is either going to go down the driveway or it's going to divert and go behind the retaining wall. I'll put drainage behind that retaining wall, drain tile, so that it catches any water coming off that hill and shoots it down that way. And then I just got to worry about making sure it doesn't get into here and then not coming off the building into here either, which I'll, I've got a plan for that. But that's a project for another day. I don't think... When I filmed this the other day, there was no water coming down that gutter anyway. So I think it's all running down to the very end, which is fine with me. That's where I want it. All right, I've done a little grading. I'm kind of digging this out, trying to level it out and fill in those holes. This was my first time ever using a box blade. And I really had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I had uh, seen a box blade used before. I kind of had the concept. I'd watched a YouTube video or two <laughs> on the on the usage of a box blade. But this is the first time I'd ever used one. And I think I figured out how to do what I needed to do. It took a few swipes up and down the driveway, but after a couple of times I, I realized, you know, how I needed to do it, what I needed to do. To accomplish what I was trying to accomplish. It was hard because there were it's in red clay and there were huge rocks so every time I would hit one of those huge rocks it would kind of the whole thing would shimmy and I'd lose all my dirt. That's my first time box blading. I did all right. That's still a little unlevel there but you can I don't know if it, I don't know if I can see the before and after but you know the gully is filled in for sure and it feels like it's leaning back that way so that water will hopefully not go that way and then I'm gonna work on the building side next but I'm knocking off for the day it's sun's high in the sky it's hot I gotta get to the gym got a lot of rain last night so after I did my grading and I topped out of the truck right here so that clay is you can kind of see that clay is it's muddy so I don't want to get out of the gravel too much because I took a lot of that gravel off and moved it over here. But with that much rain, I didn't get any washing happening over here, which is good because there used to be two big gullies right through here where all the water was draining. And it doesn't look like a lot of that drained through there last night. So I'm gonna leave the truck on the gravel. I'm gonna have to get some gravel brought in here. So it's the Sabbath. <laughs> I usually take Sunday off. I don't do anything. I don't weight lift. I don't work. I don't work on the farm. I just sit around the house and do active, some, something active, but nothing terrible. Go for a walk. But it's Labor Day weekend, so I'm off work tomorrow, and I may come back out here tomorrow. Um, riding the tractor, doing grading is not really taxing, so it's more relaxing than anything. So this is my active activity for today. <laughs> So, not, hopefully I won't even break a sweat today. Alright, I think it's too wet up near the building. I mean, it's really soupy. It rained a lot here last night. I, I can't figure out how much, but this is all real soupy. 
and that's just red clay so I mean I'm gonna it's gonna be it's got some gravel in it but it's not gonna be all that great to be riding around in but another project so that I've drew off my driveway yesterday and these people who owned it before us had put gravel kind of out like this whole area has gravel in it and I'm not really gonna want gravel definitely don't want gravel out that far and this is not as soupy so I may get the box blade out and try to get some of this gravel scraped up and then I'm gonna plant grass so we're in the first I mean it's the first weekend of September it's getting time to be able to be, be able to plant grass in Tennessee but the good thing is I've got plenty of straw <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to scrape up gravel today and then use that gravel I'll just put it in a pile and then I'll put it in there to make me a little driveway up to my door because we use this door all the time I don't really use that door yet and that'll kill two birds one stone there which I'm always a fan of and then I'll have to come back and plant some grass seed in here or some kind of seed what I do like is all these little weedy plants I don't know what they are but there's there's bees buzzing around them all pollinators so I think that's what I'm going to do around the building is I'm going to put in beds and I'm going to put in pollinator gardens with all kind of perennials that have different cycles on them. And that'll kill two birds with one stone too. It'll get me some diversity. It's going to kill a lot of birds actually. It'll get me some diversity. It'll get me some, you know, beauty around the metal building. And hopefully be something I don't have to take care of a ton, but also be a pollinator more pollinators. I'd like to keep some bees out here at some point. I don't know anything about that, but I'm going to learn about it. So this was the perfect little relaxing activity for the day. Uh, there was gravel all in this, it, you know, some grass and weeds had grown into it. The prior owner evidently had this area out there where they could, I guess, pull vehicles and everything. So there was a lot of gravel. Um, and I wound up taking all that gravel and just repurposing it i needed to gravel up near my two doors kind of in my driveway area so i just scraped it off with the box blade here and moved it up near the doors and then leveled it out after that and there was a ton of gravel that i just got to repurpose so it was basically free and it solved my problem that's pretty much down to dirt over there there's probably a couple of spots i could get some more gravel out but it's pretty much down to dirt and this is a lot more leveled off. You know, that was a, this was a big gully just to get up into there before. So it's a lot more leveled off. I still need more dirt in the middle, but I tried to get it further up on the back side there and I've still got to level it out with the box blade. I may wait for it to dry out a little bit before I do that and keep trying to drag some of this up the hill. But I mean, I'm up at least a foot I added at least a foot in here. So the driveway will go kind of on that line right there out to that rock a little bit and that stake. So I'll dig into this hill. So I should be able to swing the RV. You know, the fence will come where those red lines are. I should be able to swing the RV this way and then cut into there and then back the RV in with plenty of room. If I really get tight and I want more space I can go to the end of the I can go as far as I want but I can go to the end of the building it would be the next logical addition and that would just be dumping dirt I'll probably get this leveled out and then I'm probably going to get some loads of gravel brought in so that I don't sink because this when it gets wet that red clay is a mess I'm gonna need the gravel anyway you can see I drove down the side of the driveway where it was less gravel because I drug a lot of that gravel up and over and I, I got coated until I got back onto the gravel. So I'm gonna box blade a little bit. The rain's holding off. It rained a little on me. I might try to get a little more. So you can kind of see the gravel packed in here versus out here now. It was just as packed out here. 
So, I mean, I've still got a little gravel I could get out there. I'll probably hit that a few more times. I've still got some gravel up the hill. But over here, I'm pretty good. There's still some gravel in here, but it's dispersed. And then over here, I've dug down enough that I'm, I'm just straight dirt. So also, what I might do, now that this is uncovered, I may throw some seed down on this just to, so it's not a weed. Get some grass seed tomorrow and come back out and throw that down. And then go get some of my straw and spread it over it and see if I can get some grass growing here. So I thought I'd, I went over it with the box blade again and a lot more gravel came out. So I've still got gravel in there. I'm getting it out up there, but there's still gravel here that I need to get out. It looks like they're in pretty good shape. So I may go over this a few more times, but I box bladed this, leveled it off, and I've tried to again make the center level er with that up there. Now I'm gonna go through and pick up all these big rocks and throw them in the gully back there. There's big rocks all in here. So far just been riding around on the tractor. Well that's I mean it's not very hard. But I had all these rocks I had to pick up, so I had to actually use my, golly, I had to actually use my legs for something. That's no fun. So I'm back out. It rained since I was here last, and there's actually still a lot more gravel where I'm standing than I would want. I was going to plant grass seed today, but there's so much gravel. Let me show you. Like, that's just from piles where the, you know, the rain washed the dirt. But there is tons of gravel still in this. Way more than I, I'm getting down to dirt there, but all through here and up into here, that's a ton of gravel still. And I'm going to try to just, I'm just going to, I'm going to abort on the planting of seed today. And I'm going to just keep scraping gravel and putting it over there. You can kind of see I'm trying to level that up so you can see the truck still slanting down. But I'm just going to keep adding. It's really dry compared to what it was when I was here last week. So today I'd, I had stopped and bought grass seed and I was going to take uh, hay from the hay bales and straw, basically plant grass seed and put hay over the top of it. We're in early September, so I've still got plenty of time to do that. Um, it's dry today, so I'm going to, I'm aborting that whole plan and I'm just going to get the tractor out and keep scraping gravel and putting it over there to get my driveway built up. Change of plans, but I think it's the right thing to do. So, so far I've been really happy with what I've done. You know, I'd, I'd gotten a lot of, I'd basically harvested a lot of gravel out of this area where I did not want gravel and got my gravel bed uh, leading up to my garage in pretty good shape. I've, I've been driving the truck on it and everything's been fine. So um, today... You know, obviously I was wanting to plant grass, but sometimes you have to change your plan. And that's what I did. And I just got more gravel and got it on top of that to kind of top off what was already there. All right, let's see how much. I think I've done probably about eight inches, eight, nine, ten inches of dirt. Let's see. So that's the GoPro laying on the ground level. So nine inches. So I've added So I've added about nine inches to the belly here and leveled it out. And so I've even added up there. I can keep dragging down and make this even higher, which I will do. And then this, I've scraped all the gravel out of there. I'm gonna let it rain a few more times and see what else pops up. There may be more gravel that pops up. And if so, I'll just add it over here. And once I get it pretty good, I'm probably going to put some kind of little retaining wall in here of some type, and then I'll probably have a truck bring some gravel in because that's still too much dirt there. So I'm putting this project on hold for today because it's supposed to rain this weekend, like a lot. And I'm hoping it will show me where I've still got gravel that I need to, like there's a little... There's still a little gravel I need to pull out of here that I can then move into here. But I'm going to wait for the rain to 
tamp down and show me where my gravel spots still are. So I'm out today, I'm meeting the sewer guy. So we're gonna talk sewer today. He's just now getting here. So it rained decently. Looks like water puddled. So, and everything's still pretty wet. So the guy, the septic truck, just drove on my pad back here. And it only, there were only a, yeah, that one spot right there is kind of soft. But the rest of this, I drove my truck, no ruts. So there's a lot of gravel in all this. So I think that is all working and it's, you can see it's settled. Probably need to grade it some more. Um, so I'm happy with that. And then I was wanting it to rain on this area so that I could see if I got most of the gravel out. And I've pretty much got down to dirt. There's not a lot of gravel left. So I may scrape that one more time and then call that done and re -sow this with grass. There's not as much gravel in there as what I was anticipating. So I think that's done. So my gravel harvesting and moved it over here has worked very well. Happy with that project.